Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Uh, man, super excited. Uh, starting up a new series. It's called Can Your PC Run It? With C. Will. But hey, if this is your first time here, welcome. Here we do everything tech, all things tech, whatever it is, we like to do it. And if you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you the most because you keep everything going. So without further ado, let's get going. Uh, so we have Forza Horizon 5. And yes, this is actually coming on the xbox game pass uh for pc obviously it's coming out on xbox as well but today we are going to talk about the actual pc requirements and um i kind of want to uh, start breaking these things down because a lot of times i know some of y'all have questions about you know look i know my gaming system is pretty beefy right um but that doesn't always mean that you can actually run your games at the same pace right and so usually normally when i test games it's usually at 4k um, because that's the type of car that i have this type of system that i have but let's take a look um at some of the actual requirements um one of the things that i noticed right off hand about this particular chart is that it doesn't give uh what type of fps you could be able to get in the extra resolution uh, that these are being recommended for so we have minimum spec recommended spec ideal spec right so let's start off with minimum um so we have either amd or nvidia um obviously windows 10 2019 across the board cpu ryzen 3 1200 or an intel i5 4460 uh which is uh pretty old so let's take a look at like what these are um, so if we start off with the 4460, um, the, this is a fourth generation i5 processor, so it's pretty old. <laughs> uh, so we're talking about what? Uh, they actually discontinued this back in 2017, um, came out in 2014. And so minimal spec, it's four cores, four threads, uh, which is not a lot. And if we go back here, the Ryzen 3 1200, this is also four cores, four threads. Um, so you're talking about a minimum system requirements. Uh, yeah, this is definitely minimum. So four cores, four threads, you're not doing a whole lot. So if I had to guesstimate uh, these particular specs, uh, you know, with the CPUs, you know, four cores, four threads, the GPUs, um, RX 470, GTX 970, this is probably, uh, and then the VRAM is at four gigabytes, eight gigabytes of uh, system memory. 110 gigabytes um, hard drive space is needed. Uh, so this is probably 1080p, uh, maybe low to medium settings, probably not even high. Um, and I'm going to show you the reason why behind it. So if we actually go up here to use a benchmark, um, we can actually take a look at some of these CPUs, right? I mean, some of the GPUs rather, um, but also some of the CPUs as well. So if we take a look, um, if, if you need at least a, RX 470 or 970. And looking at this here, this is the difference between the 970 and the 1070 as far as NVIDIA. Um, and then we also have um, a RX 590, RX 470, and the 1070 to the 3080. So looking at the RX 470 on the AMD side, um, if we actually match this up with a CPU. So let's just take a look at going down here. Um, it actually gives a few games on user benchmark. Um, let's just take, for example, let's just pick one. So for Battlefield 1 at 1080p max settings, 49 frames per second on our RX 470. But if we click on this, it will also give us a list of different CPUs to match up with the GPU. So... If we were running 1080p max settings, um, if we actually go back to the minimum, we'll start off with the RX 470 and a Ryzen 3 1200. So if we look at that, so we have the RX 470, and then let's search for Ryzen 3 1200. I don't even know if that's even on this particular list. It's probably not. It's an old CPU. Um, uh, I'm not showing it on the actual sample list that they use. Um, but if we take this for instance, um, yeah, I mean, pretty much 49 frames per second for Battlefield One. So if we think about Forza Horizon, um, you this is definitely you know at these minimal specs, this is definitely not 1080p 60. Um, 
And if it is getting to 1080p 60, we're probably looking at um, low settings to medium settings, probably. And I'm actually probably leaning towards the low end. Um, if we were looking at low, like low settings for 1080p 60. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then for the GTX 970, let's take a look at that. Um, so this was the 590, probably this one. GTX 970. So if we go down here, we do the same thing. We could click on Battlefield 1. And for CPU, they were also looking at actual Intel i5-4460. So I don't think the AMD Ryzen 3 is on here, but I think the Intel card is. And here it is, Intel i5-4460. And if we click on that, see? So even on the Intel chip with the GTX 970, it's still 50 frames per second. And this is at 1080p max for Battlefield 1. So if we go back here, you know, if we start guesstimating and thinking about, okay, hey, for a minimum spec, this is not a lot. Obviously, we know 8 gigabytes of RAM is not enough um, to be able to get the full use out of video games today. Um, you, you really need what the recommended specs are, 16 gigs. But if these are the type of specs that you have, you're pretty much probably looking at anywhere between 50 to 55 frames per second, um, depending on your actual settings. Uh, what we saw here on user benchmark was at max 1080p. And so I would definitely just keep that in mind um, if those are some of the specs that you have. And if we were looking at the, the actual jump from the GTX 970 to the 1070, um, it's a 59% jump in performance, which is normal, uh, you know, especially with NVIDIA GPUs. Um, let's take a look at the difference between the RX 470 between the RX 590, the 44% jump. Um, and so, yeah, that's, you know, so when you start thinking about here, so now if we get over to the actual recommended specs, um, now we starting to, you know, to get into the game. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. This Ryzen 5 1500X is probably not a CPU that you want to game, <laughs> game on. But if that's all you have, then, you know, by all means. So if we take a look, a Ryzen 5 1500X is four cores, eight threads. So at least we are bumping up our actual thread count, um, not the core count. So we still have the same amount of cores, but the actual threads gets bumped up. Um, you know, and a bunch of other things. So obviously this is better than a Ryzen 3 1200, um, but 1500X, I will probably, I will actually rather game on a Intel i5-8400. Here's the reason why. On the i5-8400, um, this actually has six cores, six threads. So more cores, the better, right? When it comes to gaming, you know, when, when it's on a low count that's like this. And so I would definitely recommend, okay, hey, if you, you know, if you had the game on lower end hardware, um, having an i5-8400 is actually pretty good. Um, so you could definitely get better performance out of this than you would on a 1500X for AMD. So if we take a look here, what about the actual GPU requirements? So we have an RX 590. If we are taking a look at RX 590 and GTX 1070. So the RX 590, if we scroll down here on the left-hand side, we have um, a list of different games, but let's just click on GTA 5. So if we were looking at GTA 5, um, yeah, you're definitely, you're pretty much, you know, getting about 64 frames per second. Um, and now on this particular one, it doesn't let me choose the actual CPU. Uh, oh, actually, the source on this is a 590-9600K. So I wish I could actually go back and change the CPU on this one, but it doesn't give me the same options for some particular reason i'm not for sure exactly why um but just looking at this if we just take these numbers for instance okay hey if the rx 590 could be able to get here then we're probably looking at this is probably 1080p high settings um possibly 1440p but i'm thinking 1080p because if we're looking back here these numbers are still, you know, on these, uh, not this one. But if we go back here, this is still based off of 1080p max settings. So GTA 5, I would probably say is maybe along the same lines, you know, as far as uh, Forza uh, Motorsport, you know, when it comes to 
Uh, the graphical capability, obviously, you know, Forza 5 is probably a little bit more heavy than GTA 5, um, but it, it could possibly be similar. Um, just looking at the actual benchmarks and the different games that we have here. Um, obviously, Fortnite, you know, and PUBG, Overwatch, CSGO, those are definitely, um, I would say, titles are definitely made for fast pace, high frame rate. Um, but GTA 5 is not. <laughs> so GTA 5 is still a good benchmark when it comes to graphics cards. And um, this is 1080p max settings on RX 590. Uh, that's 64 frames. So let's take a look at the GTX 1070. Um, and if we use the same game, um, GTA 5, 78 frames per second for 1070. Now we know the 1070 is a lot more powerful um, than the actual RX 590. So if we click on this, and let's see now for this one, it actually has the different CPU. So if we go back here, either fifth, Ryzen 5 1500X or Intel 5 8400. So if we go back to here, um, the Intel i5 8400, is it on the list? I don't see it. Um, I also don't see the i5 1500 either. But the 8400 is not on here. So if we look at the i5. Not going to say an 8700K because we know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a way better chip um, than, the, uh, than the other one. But look at this. The i5 6600K. Um, even with that, it's still, still getting. Look, it's getting 80 frames per second. So that's, that's even better than whatever other CPU that they were using. Um, but I would just say, okay, hey, if we were looking at what the actual average frame rate uh, for GTA 5 with a 1070, 78 frames per second, that's really good. So if we go back here again, I'm thinking this is 1080p max settings, uh, could be 1440p. Um, and the reason why I say it could be 1440p is because the VRAM is up. So instead of four gigabytes, eight gigabytes that it's recommending. Uh, obviously, you know, these particular cars have the higher VRAM, um, but also the actual regular RAM, 16 gigabytes. So it could possibly um, do 1440p. Um, I know the GTX 1070 was a 1440p-ish card, um, but it's probably 1440p, um, probably 1440p, 60 frames per second is what I am think that this is targeting for the recommended specs, which would be ideal. Um, but definitely you could be able to get higher frame rates at 1080p max setting 60 frames per second. So um, that's some of my recommended, you know, specs when it comes to that. Now, uh, we have the ideal specs and I'm not going to go, you know, back and forth with because this is asking for a higher end hardware. So I'm not going to look at the user benchmarks because once you get here, um, the Ryzen 7 3800 XT um, is just one generation behind the 5800X. Um, and then the Intel i7-10700K is one generation behind the 11700K. Both of these are eight core 16 thread CPUs. This is definitely considered on the higher end. Um, obviously the graphics cards are definitely set on the higher end. Um, the RX 6800 XT and the RTX 3080, um, both of those cards are pretty much 4K cards. Um, you can be able to do 4K. Um, 16 gigabytes the VRAM on the 6800 XT and 10 gigabytes on the 3080. Um, obviously, 16 gigabytes worth of RAM is being recommended, but on the hard drive, it's actually bumping up to SSDs, uh, which is also my recommendation, right? So when it comes to these, these are definitely targeting 4K. Um, you could definitely do 4K 60. Um, I can just tell you, I ran a benchmark with my 3080 Ti on uh, Horizon uh, 4, Horizon 4. And I was actually able to get average ultra settings, uh, 77 frames per second uh, when it came to 4K. And so obviously, I'm, you know, just guesstimating. Um, yeah, this is definitely you could be able to hit 4K 60, no problem, ultra settings when it comes to these particular cards and CPUs. Um, and if we look down here, it also talks about uh, the PC version of Horizon 5 also supports 21 uh, nine ultra wide displays. So, um, you know, the ultra wise definitely lean as far as when you talk about specs, it leans more towards 
the 4K60 area because of the increase um, in resolution. Um, it's more closer to the actual 4K resolution than it is 1440p. Um, so if you run an ultra wide and you're trying to run, you know, this game, um, I would definitely um, look into the actual ideal specs, you know, as far as hardware. So now you know what you need in order to run Horizon 5. And so definitely let me know uh, what you think down in the comments, uh, what type of hardware that you may have, what, you, what you're thinking. Now you know. Um, you can always, I'll put links in the description below for user benchmarks. So if you ever want to play around with these, you can be able to change the actual GPUs and the CPUs um, and see, you know, how this stacks up the, to the type of system that you have. And so, hey, thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure that you hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you receive all my notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.